When I was working on a conservation project with the hope of a full-time employment after I had earned my master's degree, I fell for a girl named Bonnie. A woman, actually. Due to lots of drama and confusion, things didn't work out with her at first. I listened to the wrong person and kind of behaved like a jerk. Bonnie went home. My ex-girlfriend, turned girlfriend, came to stay with me and after a few months became my ex again. Bonnie and I did keep in touch. I messaged her sporadically. Eventually, after a little over a year, she came back to the project. I would like to say that it was easy, but at first, it wasn't. I was working on my location for the project. I was excited that I had my own base. I pretty much lived in a shack, but that was alright. I don't need a lot of comforts. Bonnie had messaged me, telling me how jealous she was that I was living the life she wanted. I informed her that she was nuts, but I was having a good time. I contacted Bonster whenever I was able. Where I was at was pretty remote, so it was a challenge. I emailed her about once a month, then I heard that she was coming back. Bonnie had been collaborating with Adam on a project for the organization. She hadn't mentioned Adam to me, and I wondered what was going on with that. She did mention the project that she had been working on and had finally received funding for it. She was really excited to be coming back to Costa Rica. Bonnie also said that she hoped to see me. Well, I thought I could make it to the main location to get supplies while she was there. I thought about Bonnie a lot. I thought about her when I saw butterflies, hummingbirds, parrots, flowers, and the ocean. I thought about her when I went to sleep. I wondered what it was going to be like seeing her again. I wondered if she was excited to see me. I wondered why she had been working with Adam. I couldn't help it. I was nervous about seeing her. What if she was involved with someone? I didn't really have the right to ask her. Maybe I shouldn't go. Maybe I should just keep messaging her. Bonnie messaged me when she arrived. I'm back. I looked at the message. I felt anxious and nervous. What if she was with Adam or with someone else? A week passed. I continued to do my work and try to keep focus. I couldn't. I had to see her. I decided that I had to go. I had to see her. Even as a friend, I wanted to see her. Though, I definitely wanted more than only friendship. I had nothing to worry about. I arrived at the main base and set up my stuff. I found Adam and asked where Bonnie was. She was down surfing with one of the other volunteers. That's her, I thought, living life to the fullest. I looked out at the driveway and there was Bonnie walking up the hill with Chad, the volunteer. She was talking and laughing and just being Bonnie. And yes, she looked even more lovely than I remembered her. Aw oh, man, what am I thinking? I thought about making myself scarce and just be really casual with her. And then, Jason, she hollered. No way. And she ran over smiling and gave me a massive hug. I'm so happy to see you she said. She sounded genuinely happy. We talked off and on for the next couple of days. We were in a happy pattern. It was wonderful and relaxed and really fun. I decided to ask Bonnie to do something, just the two of us. She said absolutely. The next night, we went out to a local restaurant for dinner. We talked about her work, both paying and volunteer. I didn't ask if she was involved with someone. Bonnie didn't ask me either. I wondered why. She did smile a lot. Bonnie asked a lot of questions about my station, and I told her all about it. She reiterated that she was incredibly jealous. I told Bonnie that she was nuts, and then she laughed and told me one of the reasons that she loved it here was that she had wanted to live in the rainforest house at the zoo when she was a little girl. She told me that I was living her dream and that I was lucky and ordered me not to take it for granted. I hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.